Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Hinterland. Welcome back to Farming Simulator for me. Holy cow. It just feels weird. It's been, well, basically two weeks since I've been in the game. And I got to tell you, it's like one of those things where you, you know, when you take a holiday from work or school for like a week or two and you come back and you just feel like everybody and everything has left you behind and now you got all this catch up to do. Well, that's how it's feeling to me right now. A little overwhelming. I I spent some time looking at mods that were released and things like that. Not a lot was released, and it didn't look like anything huge. I think Court Farms was probably the biggest thing that was released while I was on my hiatus. Um, clearly huge from Oxygen David. Looks like a beautiful map. Probably not one we're going to be playing soon, but um, I haven't played a British map in a long time, and Court Farms looks pretty stellar. Uh, but anyways, I did spend a little bit of time, like I said, before getting in here today, just taking a peek around at where we left off. I actually had ended up having to watch my last video because I had recorded it what, like 10 days ago just to remember where in the world and what in the world I did. I had no idea where we where we left off. Um, oh, I do remember. I know we bought our crone and I know that... This beauty right here is waiting. Love this tractor. I took a look at our animals. All of our animals are looking to be in pretty good shape, I would say. Cows, uh, sheep, chickens are all fed. They all have water. I'd say the only thing that we're probably, where we're hurting right now is we have no silage. Uh, we have zeros, zeros of the silage. So I was thinking about doing some mowing and then I saw, oh, that's right ready to harvest but it's kind of raining and it's raining hard actually so harvesting right now is not exactly in the cards for us so i thought you know what maybe we should hop in the fence and get some grass work done um just to get some grass into the fermenting silo so we can get some silage started again because uh, we run out quick with all the cows we have oh the other thing i wanted to show you i know that this was something that I was trying to figure out uh, before I went on my little break. And I apologize. For you guys, it's not been a break, I'm sure. It's been like, oh yeah, just less videos were uploaded. Yeah, it's just been weird for me. So all this milk that's been disappearing from this pen that I've been freaking out about, well, I removed that Omatana milk distributor that was sitting right here. And voila... 36,000 liters of milk. Now, which begs the question, was the milk distributor sitting here actually distributing the milk properly? I don't know. Or was it somehow... I have to believe it was. I just don't know. Um, but clearly that was the culprit for why I was getting such inconsistent milk numbers or milk quantities. I'm going to leave it out and where I'm just going to collect the milk from here and either deliver it manually to the places that need it or I'm going to take it over to the far distributor over by our sheep. Haven't really decided yet. Either way, at least I know we're getting milk. We're getting, I would assume, what's the right quantity of milk. Ay, ay, ay. It's been, it's been a battle. Oh, desire. Do we have any? I don't think we have anything in here, do we? Oh, I love that camera. The butt camera. No, she's empty. She's bone dry. Absolutely bone dry. I also uh, took the time to... Oh, I've skipped two or three uh, video driver, graphics card driver updates. I just haven't been in the mood <laughs> to update, which is so not like me. Because I usually update my graphics card drivers, like, instantaneously. I just decided, nope, not going to do it. Uh, but I did update the drivers yesterday, I think. They were pretty, I think they were pretty recent. So we might get a little bit of stutter here and there from the shader cache getting built up again. Hopefully it won't be too bad. 
I think we're all used to that. Unless you're on console, I don't think you have to deal with that nonsense, but us PC players, we get the luxury of dealing with that. Oh, looky. That's what happens when you run out of silage. It just sits there. Now it's waiting for silage. Absolutely lovely. So, let me take a breath. Let me say hi again. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you've all been well. I don't know, maybe some of you also took a little break, took a little vacation. But uh, if not, I hope you... Oops, I don't want to fold you. I hope you all have uh, had a really good couple of weeks. I've been trying to also uh, stay up a little bit on... Uh, the comments let's see make sure I've got this thing working properly yeah that's looking good and we've got silage additives so we're in good shape there I wonder what the difference would be if we just you know did that I know that farming simulator, when it's raining, it affects your yield. I think it's like 25%. But I'm not certain that it has that kind of an effect on just mowing grass. I'm not entirely sure. What did I see? I saw a mod. I don't know if it was an update or if it was new. That was rain rain pain or something like that the pain of rain or rain pain mod and basically it was its intention its intention was to not just make harvesting in the rain a negative but also cultivating plowing basically any kind from what i could gather any kind of field work um, that you do in the rain has a negative impact um I was going to take a look at that. I thought it was kind of interesting. I'm not sure exactly how it negatively impacts cultivating and plowing. Maybe I read it wrong, but that's at least what I thought I remember seeing in that mod. So these grass fields right here that we took the time to fertilize and actually we even rolled the grass uh, to get a better yield out of it we've got so we've got what rolling gives you a layer of fertilizing if i remember right and then we also gave it a second layer of fur and of course we prepped the we prepped the fields pretty well i think so we're at 98 percent which just means i don't think we cultivated if i remember correctly and i'm trying to remember what in the world we were going to do with these grass fields i mean other than i don't i don't think i had plans to bail i think it was going to be now that I think about it, I think it was going to be just mow and stick it in the fermenting silo, if I remember right, to get silage. So maybe we can just, maybe we can just take this guy, <coughs> excuse me, I guess the only problem is, is that it's like a three meter or four meter width, so that kind of sucks. Um, oh, I know what we were going, maybe going. Maybe use our new crone forage harvester on these fields, but I'm thinking what advantage would that have to use the crone? I think you get silage straight away that way. You don't have to worry about fermenting, if I remember right. If you get a grass header on the crone forage harvester, does that produce silage? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it is just mowed grass. Hmm. I haven't done it in forever, so I can't quite remember. Actually, I think it is just mowed grass. So we might be better off uh, just to make quicker work of it to grab our full mower setup, mow this grass into a nice windrow, and uh, the, the advantage here is this trailer has silage additives, so we get a big bonus 
uh, when we collect with this trailer. I think our Crone Forage Harvester also supports silage additive. But I'm not so certain there's any advantage to using that versus what we're doing right here. I don't think the header on it is going to be really any much bigger. I mean, we can tow this trailer behind the forage harvester, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to have to... Like I said, i gotta, I got to brush the rust off here. I don't know where the rust is, but there's some rust going on here. And I just need to get my head in the back in the game a little bit. But it is nice being back, though. I'll tell you, it's it's weird that um, it's weird how you get used to playing the game, and then I then I get used to not playing the game, you know. And it's like I oh I totally missed it. No question there. But I also got to the where I was getting to the point after about a week I was like hmm now I'm not sure where I even was in the game and how much work is that going to be to start getting back into the swing of things and so I got my butt off the couch today first time I've had to really get into the game and pay attention and, and really do something and uh gonna record gonna get something out I want to get something out for Sunday um, just so I can get uh, my brain functional again with farm sim, back into farm sim mode. Uh, the 25th, it looks like, the DLC is coming out. So we have that, uh, oh boy, what DLC is that? Is that, uh, what brand is that? It's some brand DLC, boy. How, see how soon I forget? How soon I stink and forget. But anyways, we've got a DLC coming out on the 25th and I guess then the what is it the is it the, the platinum no is it the platinum no not platinum expansion that's already been done the mega ultra um, big whatever version is going to be coming out in November I believe and that's going to include I guess it's, from the sounds of it a Polish map If I read if I read it correctly. So a Polish map. Are we full? We are so full. We are so full. How long have we been full? I haven't been paying stinking attention to it. Oh, we've been not too long. Okay. I guess that's one advantage is even when you're full, it just leaves the grass behind so we can come back and pick it up at least. Um so yeah, it looks like uh, it's probably going to be a pretty spanky looking little Polish map, if I remember correctly. Some new equipment, I'm certain. And I guess, ooh, man. Well, I guess I was full for a while. Um, also, it it, uh, it obviously answers any question that we had on whether or not Giants was going to wait. Uh, what, another, you know, was going to wait three years between versions. I guess there's no uh, no question about that anymore. So yeah, so we're gonna have uh, the next fully new release of Farm Sim. Is it gonna be until the end of 24? Probably Novemberish time frame. So we've got another year and four months or so. What are, what are we in July? August, September, October, November, yeah, a year and four months before we get a, an entirely new version. Very curious to, I, I, I'm just super curious to think about what, um, what are they going to do? What are they going to add, you know? What's going to be the big, like, What's going to be the big draw that Giants is going to um, try and get people into the game with? You know, I remember when 22 came out, um, I think it was fair to say at first a lot of people were like, this doesn't look like much more than 19. I saw a lot of comments about that when 22 was first announced and they were showing off some things. 
I know rocks, um, field stones, were, I guess, kind of the, one of the, you know, one of the highlights were field stones. I think graphics, well, and that's almost a gimme, right? I mean, with every new game release, no matter what game you play, yeah, I would say there's two big things that you almost expect. One of them is going to be an uptick in graphics quality. So you're going to be saying, you know, either better lighting or whatever it might be. Something to do with graphics. It's got to be an improvement, right? And in a lot of games, the other thing that you are looking at is the actual gameplay. You know, is the and this may not may not hold so true with farm set as much as it does uh, first person shooters and things like that where you're like I just want better gameplay I want a better feel of uh, general gameplay kind of dynamics and maybe that does bode a little bit of truth with farm sim but I know that they were talking about lighting and graphics and I know they were also talking about field stones now I don't know to me just based on what I have seen on YouTube and the general discussion groups and things like this, I would say field stones were kind of a hit and miss for a lot of people. Um, not exactly, at least from what I can see, not exactly something that, that people, once they kind of dealt with them, <laughs> once you kind of dealt with field stones a couple times, I think a lot of people were like, yeah, this is, this isn't for me. You know? And I don't know. I, I don't know if that's because of the way it was done. Like as far as the way that it was implemented as you know like mechanics wise and how you collected them and what you could do with them or if it was because um, or was it just because people just weren't interested in adding another layer of something to do with your fields if, if people felt like there was enough already between cultivating and mulching and, and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Tough to say. Tough to say. For me personally, I, I just felt like it just wasn't worth it. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, turning on field stones for me was... It was interesting at first because we got new equipment, we got stone collectors, and, and I wanted to see how it functions, right? But at the end of the day, it was kind of like, eh, you know, not super interested in doing this anymore. I'd rather just buy my lime. Uh, honestly, you know, financially, it didn't seem like a really certainly wasn't lucrative which I get it probably shouldn't be I mean in the real world it would be great if we could make a ton of money with field stones picking up stones but it's just not there I I would make more money here in Michigan I don't know what I'm doing I'm just going around this field I guess it's a field of grass so we're just going to do it um, in the state of Michigan we have that 10 cent can nonsense you know you get 10 cents per re bottle return I guess basically but it's you know for cans and stuff there's better money in that than there probably is in field stuff you know and I was waking what a waking yeah, there you go I was watching uh, Mike Mitchell what is it faith hope Farms, I think, is their motto. Faith Hope. Might be one more word in there. But anyways, Faith Hope Farms up in Canada. And I always I always watch him. I, I love his channel. I It's probably my favorite farming, real far, um, IRL, as my kids would say, um, channel. 
for farming. I just really, really appreciate uh, how he does his content. It's very informative and it's really interesting and I just really, really like his content. You know, how you, you just find people that you just like their, their personalities or their content. I like the guy, clearly a huge family farm. I found out that it was 40,000, I think 40,000 acres, I think they have total. That's a pretty good sized farm. Uh, all family run, I know that they hire some people, but basically it's still completely family owned and run. And First time I've been tempted, and this is the truth, the first time I have been tempted to buy merch from a YouTuber. I really have never cared about buying merch from a YouTuber. But I like his merch. I like his logo and I kind of just like his merch. I need to pay more attention to where our wagons, when our wagon gets full, I'm just not paying attention to that. Um, and uh, anyways, he was, and I think I talked to you guys about this a little bit before, but um, he of course deals with field stones, like any farmer I'm sure does, or a lot of farmers do. I guess it depends on where you farm at, but he deals a lot with field stones and he primarily rolls them. That's, I think, his number one way of dealing with field stones is just simply rolling, putting them back into the ground. And I know that in Farm Sim, right, I think that's, now it's been a while since I've dealt with field stones. Looks like we're getting full. I'm going to go ahead and stop our front mower. And we're just going to take this load over to our silos. And I think in Farm Sim, right, you can do that with field stones in the game, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, with small ones, I think a roller. Boy, it's just been so long since I've dealt with field stones in this game, but that's primarily how he deals with, with stones. And he was saying on the occasion, in the, in the occasion where um, they run across stones that are too big, that stick out of the ground too far and might cause their um, their headers a lot of damage, their harvesters a lot of damage. They'll they'll come back and, and with a shovel, with a with a scoop, you know, a a, um, a front loader, you know, and pick them up. Otherwise, all the rest of the stones just just keep getting rolled. And maybe I'd almost I would almost rather have it that way in the game where you it's not motor going here. Fire that up. Where you maybe you know, maybe that's where you just roll stones into the ground. You never have to deal with the big ones that you have to go around with stone collector. I honestly think as boring as that sounds, I honestly think I would turn stones back on if they were treated just like that. Just another 2% maybe. Maybe if it was like a 2% bonus in yield and a reduction in uh, damage. Now I think in the game, stones do cause damage, are supposed to cause damage, right? If you if you go over large the large stones i think the game recognizes that as more damage to your equipment but i think i would turn stones on if if all you had to do was maybe add it as another thing to do to prep fields as long as i don't have to pick the stinking things up and put them in a trailer and get two cents a piece or make a little bit of lime that I could buy and be a lot happier. <laughs> Boy, I don't know. Maybe that's just maybe that's just me. But I'll be curious to see. So in in FS25, so now we can just assume that you know that's going to be the next big version. Right? I wonder if giants are going to change anything with stones. I wonder if or if they're just going to leave them as is and turn them off if you don't want to deal with them or turn them on if you want to deal with them. 
I don't know. Be curious. Always curious. But I don't know what else there is. I mean, it's... Uh, are we getting to a certain point in the game? And I know maybe I've probably thought this over the past two or three versions. So there's always something that can be added. But it just seems like the, far, the vast majority of people want... They want more crop varieties. And they want... Uh, and I think along with more crop varieties, I think it's a gimme that you're gonna that you are gonna have to get more production varieties. And I think it's clear and evident that animals need an upgrade in the game. I think animal husbandry. I think it needs an upgrade. And I and I would be really surprised if on the next version we don't see. baby animals come into the game and uh, and a more you know and that and that more progressive animal husbandry kind of a feel like you get in Hofbergman or some other maps or with that what is it the animal I forget what that mod's called that escapes me but you all know what I'm talking about you all know what I'm talking about even when I don't know what I'm talking about you all know what I'm talking about if that makes sense It looks like carrots are coming to the game. So we'll have carrots in November. Somebody made a comment on Steam. I was reading a review on Steam. I, don't, I have no idea why I was in there again, but it was a negative review. And I thought they kind of made an interesting point. I'm not sure if I completely agree with it. I do to an extent. And I know that it's a feeling that other people share. But their biggest negative on the game was basically... And of course, this doesn't make any sense, in my opinion, for console players. Maybe a little bit for console players. But I think this primarily, obviously, was intended for PC players. Because it's on Steam, number one, so... Duh. But I think in general... When it comes to a negative for the game, I think it, it, it basically focused on most PC players. That most of what he or she perceived as progression of the game was basically just giants taking popular mods and implementing them into the game. I think that was their the gist of their negative opinion. And I, and I get that. I, I can kind of understand that. In a way, I do. I understand where they're coming from. You could take it one step further and basically say, look, mods continue to drive this game forward. Um, they really do. And Giants, God love them for what they do and for the quality of their work that they do. I still argue that Giants models of tractors and implements and things are just absolutely fantastic. You know, you get great ones from modders too, but Giants sometimes with their models are just, it's impressive. And, um, I don't know. I just, I would like to see Giants again focus on, just please focus on. Not the gimmicky stuff, but focus on more crop varieties. Focus on the game mechanics, uh, the graphics, how well the game is running, especially for people with older equipment. So we, we all want smooth running, happy gaming experiences with higher frame rates, and like I've said in the past, I would be pretty happy if the next version of Farm Sim maybe wasn't even hugely or vastly different, but just with just smooth, you know, just really tweaked out of the box. And 
give us more crops, give us cabbage, and we're gonna have we're gonna have carrots, but give us you know, give us lentils and mustard. I mean, and, and you could just name it, you know, name it. There's so much out there that we don't have access to unless you're playing a modded map of some variety or something like that, you know. But hey, promised myself I was going to try to stick to 30 minutes this this um, this episode, and I'm going to try and do that. So I'm going to let you all go. I'm probably going to just keep going on some of this grass while we're raining, while it's raining, because we can get away with. Uh, I think we can get away with doing grass work during the rain, and uh, I want to build up our silage reserves because we're going to need them. Uh, one last thing, we, like I mentioned before, our days on Hinterland are numbered. Uh, I am working, I have been working, and I'm going to also continue to work more on the next map and get it prepared and ready for a new, uh, a new series. I'm excited about it. It's, uh, yeah, I'm excited about it, and I'm excited about the map. Uh, it was recently released. It wasn't too long ago that it was released, and I'm just like, hmm. And I like this map modder or map authors stuff. I always have, um, so I'm super geeked about it. Um, but thank you all for putting up with my intermittent, I guess you could say, uploads over the past couple of weeks. Thank you all so much for the new subscribers. Um, they still continue to come in. I really appreciate that, and. Uh, I, I missed you guys. I really did. So I'm, I'm glad to be back in the saddle. You all have an amazing Sunday. Amazing rest of your weekend. And uh, I think we're going to be back on schedule next week. So, yeah. Looking forward to it. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, most importantly. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Yeah, bye for now. <laughs>